Hello and welcome to this 9th edition 40k battle report. It's Imperial Knights versus Custodes. Okay, so here we are for our first night, first ever ninth edition battle report. Ooh, first, which is, battle like five months. first battlefield since before lockdown in in the UK. So that's about February, I think, since we last played forty k. Yeah, around about then we last played. Yeah. Long time. So, a couple of disclaimers. Firstly, this is our first game of ninth, so um, apologies if we make any ninth edition based mistakes. But it's also our first game in five months, so we may make other normal mistakes that you wouldn't normally yeah, make. Yeah. There could be mistakes upon mistakes. Yes, yeah, so there could be quite a lot of mistakes, and please just excuse that for this game. <laughs> Um, we're playing Frontline Warfare, so here's the four objectives, one, two, three, and four. Um, that's we're playing Custodius, I'm playing my Imperial Knights. And we'll see... Royce is a, a muffle that's because we're wearing masks. Yep, yeah, Royce <laughs> is a muffle because we're both wearing masks. Um, we've done our best, really, to try and make this situation as safe as we can, so Jack, the has got his own dice tray over there, and I've got my dice tray under here. So when, when Jack's doing his dice rolls, I'll do my best to kind of film yeah, from a distance, I've got the camera on a, on a little stick thing, but you might not see the as well. Your just... hand and the camera disinfected Yeah, so I've like, I'd, I'd like disinfected Jack's chair, I've disinfected that over there, I've disinfected the entire side of Jack's board. <laughs> it's probably also perfect, I probably haven't got a coronavirus. Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> but we can't, we, we can't be too careful, it's, it's, a very, it's still a scary situation to be in at the moment, so we're taking every precaution necessary. Um, we've chosen our secondaries. I've got Engage on All Fronts, First Strike and Vital Ground, which is the one from the scenario. And Jack, you've uh, got... I've got Vital Ground, Titan Slayers, obviously, and Engage on All Fronts. So actually, right. uh, oh, yeah, I've read yours wrong. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So those are our secondaries. Um, we'll show you the armies and then we'll come back after our deployment. Okay, here are my Imperial Knights. Uh, my Warlord is Lady Humphrey. Uh, she's got... In fact, he's WYSIWYG, so she's got uh, Melter, Vendor Gatling Cannon, Storm Spear, Chain Sword. She's then also got Endless Fury instead of the um, Vendor Gatling Cannon, and she's got the Iron Bulwark Warlord trait. Um, my Free Blade, Sir Kavanagh, he's got he's WYSIWYG as well. He's got uh, Icarus Auto Cannon, Melter, Alpha Battle Cannon, Avenger Gatling Cannon. I've also upgraded him, so I've spent a CP to give him the Sky Shield, so it's a slightly better um, Icarus Auto Cannon. It's heavy six rather than heavy four, and it's minus two rather than minus one, so it's slightly better. I've done his uh, qualities and burdens already. I got very, I did <laughs> got very lucky with him. So his burden is exiled in shame. Uh, if, I, if the burden applies, uh, he can't use stratagems, but my Qualities are excellent. So I got Indomitable, add one to wounds and leadership, which means this is less likely to happen. And I got Peerless Warrior, and they're on a six. So he's blitz is killed two now, so he hits on twos. Ooh. And then I've got uh, Sir Humphrey. Uh, he's not quite wizzy big, unfortunately. So he has got the Iron Storm, Thermal Cannon. He's not got a Star, but he's got a Melter as well, and the Venture Gallant Cannon with a Flamer. And I spent another CP to give him another. Uh, Warlord trait. He's got the House Morton one because these are our House Morton called Legacy of the Black Pool. So he is minus one to hit against weapons that are over 18 inches away. Got my two armagers, Lyra and Rowan. They are going to do the same. And again, they're not quite wizard. They've both got melters rather than stubbers. And last of all, just because I've painted them first, I've got Ethereal Stern and Kai. I think it's Kai Ganil um, from Psychic Awakening. Uh, I put them in here, one, because I had some points left over and I couldn't, you know, I had, I had about 125 points left, which is how much they cost. And I've just finished painting them and I wanted to use them, including this guy's cool colour shifting paint base. So, let's see how they get on. They are probably going to suffer from new model syndrome and die really quickly. But here are my knights. Okay, here's Jack's custodies. What have you got, Jack? Okay, so we've got Trajan. Over there, and then also next to him is my warlord, who's a shield captain in terminated armor. He's got the three plus in the uh, five plus field attain warlord trait, obviously. And I've also paid the CP to make him captain commander and given him plus two wounds, so he's got nine wounds. Is that from Psychic Awakening? That's Psychic Awakening. Cool. Yeah, yeah. 
And then okay. behind them we've got four bikes with saddle launches, because they're now the same cost as the Hurricane Bolters. So Ooh. Well, the saddle launchers like them, they've never seen the use of them. No, uh, I think they used to be a bit more, a bit more expensive. They're, um, they're basically anti tank. Okay, they're cool. One shot, I think one shot. Cost me so long since I used them, they're, they're like high strength pieces of damage, that kind of thing. Cool. Um, then we've got a Vexilla. Yep, of course. Is more of a Steve's mind wanted here. Uh, we've got two units of Custodian Guard with uh, two spears and a shield in each unit. Although the shield is slightly worse now um, for targeting reasons. But, uh, then next to them, five Terminators, just regular Terminators for the axes. Uh, Telemon with the fist and the. Oh, what's it? I can never, ever remember what this gun is called. Well, a Ravenous Storm Tank. Is that the yeah. gun or the missiles? That's uh, the gun. The, the missiles on the top of the spectacular spot launcher, and then the arm oh. is the uh, Arachnus Storm Cannon. And then we've got the Caladius Scrab Tank with Twin Iliastus Accelerator Cannon. That's, that's that sounds new. Yeah. Is, that, is that what they're that's all called? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I can tell you, it's been so long since you played. Yeah. I can't remember. And all I remember is it's all really, really hard to kill. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that is Jack's Custodies. Oh, and I forgot to say, uh, they're a Dread Host detachment, it's a patrol detachment, and they're a Dread Host, which uh, gives them access to a couple of other things. Cool. Okay, here we are deployed. I've got Sir Kavanagh, the Freeblade, on over here, Armages, Sir Humphrey, the Crusader, and Lady Humphrey, the Warden. Jack put, well, your Terminators and oh, Warlord I in different anyway, and you paid one CP for the Telemann Deep Strike. Okay. And so you've got left is pretty much all over here. <laughs> uh, bikes, Trajan, Vexler, tanky thing, one unit and one unit hiding behind there because they're pussies. <laughs> uh, we all, I got the first turn. We did it just for a laugh. We thought, I wonder what would have happened if Jack could have seen this to have like he could innate. And he'd actually rolled a six. Uh, well, not even I'm in the first turn. <laughs> I'm in the first turn. Um, but we just thought it'd be fun. So that's the first... Yeah, already a bullshit chain tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first new Wolf of Night that's benefited to me. And I think we worked out it's pretty much the first time I'm actually going first. <laughs> yeah. uh, ever, without, really. Without, like... Without, like, just... Oops. Crap. No, I was saying it's been so long, but come on. Yeah, it's just how long it's been back to yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'll go on to Knight's uh, movement. So Knight turn one movement. Everyone's pretty much moved up, apart from uh, this one who stayed there. On that objective, obviously. First one to shoot is going to be the free blade. Oh, I need to test for his burdens, don't I? He failed, failed it. So basically, I can't use any stratagems for him this turn, oh. uh, including command point reroll. I can't use. Oh. Um, it doesn't actually not too big. It's basically, the only thing I can't use is command point reroll. But then other guys I could use them anyway. You know what I mean? It still it's, gets the positive side, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it still gets the positive side. That's just the burden. He still gets. He still hits on twos. Um, that's a plus one wound. Okay. So he's firing everything at the bikers. Jack paid, well, was going to pay two CP to basically give them the equivalent of transhuman physiology. It seems like awakening. Pretty and Tadan used his once per game ability to get those comrades back. So well, it makes it zero now. Yeah. So I can only win them on fours. So I went to Gatling Cannon first. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Which is only fours anyway, isn't it? Strength six. It's only six, anyway, but I'm hitting on twos. Um, three because you're minus one. Oh, I'm a minus one. Two, two. Uh, yes, threes. You're right. You're right. It's the it's the My guard top. Yep. Yeah. Force the wounds. Two, four, six wounds. That's minus two, two damage. Sure. So obviously we're using different um, dice, so we're not touching the same dice. So I'll list. six wounds. Six, six wounds yeah. minus two. Uh, yeah, so four up. Uh, England. How many wounds have they got? Four. So that's two dead. That will kill two. I'll command point one of those then. Okay. Yeah. So, so it kills one and one cup of two wounds. Next is his Sky Reaper weapon, uh, which is heavy six. Um, this will hit on twos because it's plus one. Yeah. Hit. So I'm here. All hit. Strength seven, but wounds are on fours because of your straps. Ooh, only two wounds. That is minus two, two damage as well. Ooh. Oh, that's that one's dead. So okay. Then, oh, I should have fired this guy first, shouldn't I? Bollocks. Um, then, what's next? Let's 
do let's just do the heavy stubber because that'll be really easy heavy three heavy three uh three hits no wounds and then it'll be rapid battle cannon which is heavy 2d6 i believe yep 10 10 hitting on threes because of minus one Not too bad. Ooh. I can't handle really this. Winning on fours because you're strapped. Three wounds, and that is minus two, minus two d3 damage. Mongo is three. How many did you roll there? Three. Is it okay. three wounds? Yes, I did get three wounds, yeah. d3 damage, one. And I think that is it for him. Because the melter didn't get through. Mel melter's not in range. Yep, that's him done. I'll stop there and go on to the next one. Next up is this armager. I spent one CP on Skyrim for protocols, so I get to re-roll hits, which I realised I didn't... Oh no, it's only for these five I'm doing, I think. Yep, yeah, I only got five shots, unfortunately. Mm. Um, so four is to hit, but re-rolling. Yeah, only one, oh. one, one. Didn't go, so I'll completely waste CP. <laughs> four is to wound. Ugh, I'm going to command put one of those. Wound, so two wounds at minus one, three damage. So threes. Oh. oh, two of them. So one's dead and one's on one wound left. No, it's three. Oh, no. So, yeah, yeah, so, so just one's dead. One, yeah. yeah, one's dead. Oh, three bikes dead. Three bikes dead. Right, let's turn to the next one. So after this one, finished off that bike. This time I just fired at the tank and did three wounds. Came over to uh, Lady Humphrey. She's aiming everything at the bike. She can just about see. You right, she can see. Uh, obviously the Melter and Stubbers and everything aren't in range, but fired the Iron Storm already, didn't do anything. I also spent one CP on Slayers of Shadows. It's a House Morton Stratum, Stratagem, which means she ignores all modifiers, so she will be shooting uh, at that bike, because I've got to try and kill that bike to get first strike, uh, at not the minus one. I've done the Iron Storm, didn't do anything. This is Endless Fury, the 14 Endless Fury shots. Threes to hit, ignoring the minus one. Sixes count as two hits. And there's two sixes, so but a lot of misses. <laughs> but I get two more. Oh, three more hits. Three sixes. Nice. Three sixes, so three more hits. Winning on fours. Each one's minus two, two damage. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six wounds. Look, you got six dice. Six. <laughs> like you knew. You've already spent the command point reroll as well. Yes, yeah, so we're doing that. Like that. Right, come on. No, that's dead. It's very dead. Very dead. Oh, I think that was worth it to get first strike. Yeah. Because I think five victory points. Um, or maybe it's, I think it's five. It's uh, five. And then if I don't kill the unit first turn, you get eight. Yeah. Cool. So there you are. There's the, oh, I hate bikes as well. Freaking yeah, hate bikes. Really so, um, and that's, that, that's, that's also just a big bit of maneuverability you just lost. Yeah. Because they, 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 they often zip around doing good. stuff. and. Um, well, these are so far back, they shouldn't be that far back. Oh, it's the first game in so long, mate. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I've uh, got my last one to fire, which is that one there. Um, I might just do it off camera, to be honest. Um, and then we'll come back at the end. Just weird, quick correction there. Made a mistake on, on that last attack. She's actually got a Storm Spear rocket pod, not an Iron Storm rocket pod. Didn't make a difference. I killed them with the, with the Endless Fury, so I don't really care. Excellent. Okay, so... Uh, probably should have filmed that. I probably should have filmed that. <laughs> I really should have filmed that because uh, this... Guy, Sir Humphrey, that's me, in fact, named after me, yeah. has just fired everything at the tank and killed it. So what we're saying is it can see over this bit. Yeah. It can see the, the, um, the we, we've, yeah, we've kind of tried to interpret the, yeah, the, the line of sight rules to make a bit of sense, basically. Anyway, is it going to blow up? Because you can't reroll this. Oh. Well, you could have anyway, because you, you, you can't reroll already, but... No. No, it doesn't blow up. But it is dead. And that, yeah, is, like, and that is like your tank killer. Yeah, yeah so that, um, I don't... Until turn two, it's a big tank I've, I've nothing that can harm the tank, no. the knights now. Yeah, which I'm quite pleased about. Oh shit, I was kind of, yeah. Okay, anyway, that, that is the end of knights. Um, there's no charges, obviously, so that's the end of knights shooting. So I get first strike. Um, and you kill two units. I kill two units two rather than one. To get eight points so I'm on to have to get eight points for first strike, but we'll see what happens. On to Custodes turn one. So just end of Custodes' movement, very simple. They've, they advanced, didn't they? 
Yeah, they'd over to there to, there to get, get that one. These ones moved down and shuffled around. That's all we've got on the board, board at the moment. Them, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So just, well, I probably won't bother filming, shooting, or charging. If you do it, I'll just, just yeah. Just, if, if you do get into combat, I'll film that, obviously, but yeah, yeah. nothing else. So this is just in the shooting phase. Took three wounds off this armature in the charge phase. These guys made the 18-inch charge, and Jean, after a reroll, made an 11-inch yeah, charge, charge in. Um, again, I may not bother filming this. He's probably just going to die. He's probably just going to die. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> we'll come back at the end, I think. Okay, it was a very short, brutal combat. Trajan went first and just killed the armoured in one go, and he didn't blow up. I get a picture of that. Too. Cool. So here we are, end of Knight's turn to movement. I kind of spread out a little bit. They're very well spread out. You can move back a little bit to hold this table quarter, move into that table quarter, move back into this table quarter, move to that table quarter. I also dropped these two in. I don't really know what they're going to do, to be honest with you, but I just thought of shits and giggles, really. So I've got 10 points on the primaries. i got two more points for vital ground, because I held that one. And i got three points for engaged in all fronts, because yeah, I'm in all four. Yeah. And although it says at the end of the battle, i got eight points for first strike, because uh, I killed two and definitely killed one. Yeah. So I'm on 23 points. Jack's currently on zero, but you can't really score many in the first time anyway, so... Yeah, on to... I don't. I think, I think it happens in a psychic phase, but I'll check her thing, but... Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, then after shooting. So it's coming in at the end of night shooting, because it wasn't, it wasn't just an exciting phase, I was just shooting at this high head only anything left on the board. Started off with Daniel Stone, she did a, a one mortal wound on that guy. Um, a mixture of this one and that one. And that one. Wiped out that unit, and then a mixture of that one, the thermal cannon, auto cannon, and this guy only killed two. Two there. He oh. jacks back another CP on the oh, what's called transhuman. Basically transhuman physiology, so I was only wounding him on fours, which did help a couple of times. And he made some pretty good saving though. Yeah, yeah. Lucky to have. Um, I'm gonna charge these two in a second into the Vexler. Um, no idea how good they are, but fuck it. Yeah. yeah <laughs> um, so we'll come back when we find out what happens with that. Okay, so in the charge phase, in spite of a re-roll, if Peter Stern didn't get in, but Kai Gannel got in first go. Um, I'm going to go for the Outcast Blade, eight attacks, hitting on twos. For that, two ones, well done, mate. Winning on fives. This is more damage. No wounds, no. well done. You can attack back. Okay, uh, right. I don't often get this kind of combat, so let's have a look. Four attacks, hitting on twos. Four hits. He's got a uh, golden spear to strength six. What's your two to wound? Two to wound. Three and, that, and that four's cocked, yeah. Yeah. Three um, wounds. Four plus in one. He just got popped in one. He's a, he's a harlequin. Yeah. Fail two. D3. Uh, D3. How much wounds have you got? Five. I'm going to re roll one of those. I can't use it you get in your top place. Fast. Ah, okay. Yeah, so just D3. Do you damage? Two. two. He's had a two wound. I'll get my dice out in a second. So that's the end of um, <laughs> Knight's turn two. Wiped out unit over there. What's the leadership? More than. Like eight. Like eight. eight. Yeah, that's fine. So they're going home. Uh, although one, one always eight. fails. One always fails. And one always passes. No, six always fails. So you, yeah, six always fails. So you've got to roll. Because you roll six, he dies. But you can't re roll it. Oh, does that mean I'm. We'll check the rules. Uh, that affects whether I. Okay, we'll check the rules and come back. No, it doesn't matter. I don't know where I got. Yeah, I don't know where I got the six always fails from. One always succeeds and it doesn't matter. So he is fine. So that is just it. In the turn. Um, no more victory points because. Yeah, no other points for me. I'll gain them uh, next turn. Cool. Over to Custody's <laughs> turn two. Okay, end of Custody's turn two movement. It was a very complicated movement trying to work out with all the secondary objectives and things. It was it was pretty complicated. So these two advanced up, basically to hide from that night. Stayed in combat. These two dropped in here, and the Terminators dropped in there. Uh, I probably won't bother filming shooting because there's not much that that's, that's that exciting. Well, he's probably yeah, he's, but well, he's I might film him. Yeah. But, um, so at the end of your command phase, you hold two objectives, which is 10 points. No, and your movement, no, you don't actually. So command phase, you only held one, didn't you? Yeah, which is... That one, five, and um, plus two for battleground. You didn't hold that one. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah, so you get seven points so far, and hopefully you're gonna you're hoping to kill this guy. Hoping to kill that guy, yeah. Uh, this girl, sorry. Okay. Lady, lady Humphrey she is. Not a girl, this lady. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, on to custodial shooting, etc. So first up for shooting is a Tenement. I'm guessing you're firing everything at this one. Yeah, it's firing at that side, yeah. So okay. it's a little girl on top. Okay. Um, can you see that? Yeah. Well, it's pretty anywhere. It's about yeah. I think. It's uh, so it's a vehicle, so it doesn't... No, no penalties for moving shooting. Yep. So uh, twos, we were on one for the captain. One. Five hits. Strength. Five. So five to wound. Two wounds. Minus one. Okay, so four plus. Suffer one. So how many wounds is that? Uh, it's one wound. One wound, okay. okay. I'll just well, remember one wound, I'll do the dice in a second. And then it's next one. Big gun is firing its main power profile. Twos. Strength eight. Rerolls against vehicles. Okay, so, so fours are rolling. Two wounds, Two. minus four. Okay. So, so four plus in the run. So Make both of them. <sighs> Uh, that's, no, all no, that's all it's going Okay, well, I won't bother you to film the rest of shooting. I'll come back at the end. So you've actually yeah. suffered one wound so far. Okay, the end of 20 match shooting. It was very good. So shooting. So, yeah, so Kaseo <laughs> shooting, yeah. Uh, Tell one didn't do much. I only did a couple of wounds, I think. Yeah. Because um, I, I didn't win on my saves. Ward, you uh, in, in run both the big guns. Yeah, both the big guns, yeah. Terminators, however, you did spend two CP on two different class gyms. Yeah. One meant they could fire twice, and the other one meant their guns were better. Uh, it meant they auto wound or sixes to hit. Or auto sixes to hit, yeah. Hit. Lot of sixes to hit. And basically, all together with that, and with their like grenade launchy things, they did so all together basically. This knight suffered 13 wounds. Pretty good. Um, that's pretty bad. Very good. Uh, so on to charging. So just one charge, and uh, the Terminator's Jack spent another CP. Just to uh, charge 3d6 and take away the lowest, or take away one, it's so good, take away the lowest. They got in, I used to have two wounds on Overwatch, did very badly with my Endless Fury. The wound roll was terrible. Um, so they're in. Uh, yep, that's it, no one other charges, so let's get on to some hitting. Okay, so first up, Terminators, obviously. Jack's paid one CP or two CP to. One CP. Uh, no, no, two, two, CP, two, two CP, CP to make them plus one to wound, so they'll be hitting on twos, wounding on threes. Yeah. Display yeah. attacks. Loads. Not ones there. Well, not, yeah, yeah, not, not. I think either. you're going to be fine, mate. Uh, threes to wound. Threes to wound. Go on, loads of ones and twos. Absolutely loads. Preferably all of them. All the ones and twos. Go on. All of them. <laughs> all the ones and twos. Not enough, Jack. Not what I said. Yeah, it's too many for my liking. Right. So you get five up save against this, though. So I how many are there? I didn't give them that. Oh, yeah, we're using the. Four, eight, nine, ten. Ten. So I'll do. Okay, uh, four, eight, ten, and they're D3 damage each on me. Yeah. I've got 11 wounds left. How do I save? Uh... Ooh, I made loads. One, two, three. Uh, yeah. I'm going to come on for one of those, because okay. if I save it, can't kill. you can't kill her. No. Okay, I so should four. have paid, I could have paid an extra, only one CP to make them AP minus three, and then you would have failed three of those. Oh, no, most of them six, isn't it? It still would have been worth- I failed two more, so- It would have been worth paying the one CP, but I didn't want to go down to yeah. just one CP left, because I wanted my transhuman thing on them. Yeah. Which is annoying. Okay, that's all. So it four D3 damage. Four D3. Yeah. You've got 11. 11, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be close. But you'll be like hitting on not very good, right? No, it'll be not very good at all. <laughs> hitting on bad. Hitting on bad, yeah. <laughs> Come on, big roll here, we have big rolls. Not, Not that, hang on, so two, four, six. Seven. So even if I can land point, I can't kill it. No. So seven, Damn, so you've got four wounds left. Tell them on. Um, there we go. Failed me, guys. Yep. Um, cool. Should have spent that CP. So if I, yeah, I would have easily done it with that extra CP. Yeah. Okay, so she will tag back. I probably won't bother filming because uh, she'll be hitting on like sixes now. And fives, I think. But anyway, we'll come back after. We'll come back after the rest of the combat. We'll we'll, we'll do that one because it's not very exciting, and then we'll, we'll summarize the rest of it. Okay, just summarizing the end of Custody's turn two. Knight didn't do anything uh, there. Jack spent two CP to ignore minus two. Yes, I think one CP, one CP left, one CP, yeah. and then 
There's a Harlequin shaped hole, um, which is Beowulf Stearns and I'm very angry about and hope, hopefully she'll kill him. Uh, that's it really, so now it's on to night turn one. Turn one? Ten? <laughs> God, it's been a lot. Of, turn three. Yeah. Okay, just coming in at the end of night's shooting. I know that normally they'd film that, but there still isn't that many targets, so... Uh, Armager fired at Trajan, did three mm -hmm. wounds. Um, this knight fired at the Terminators. Jack spent one CP again to ignore minus two. So basically, a combination of uh, Sir Humphrey and Lady Humphrey killed two and a half. Two and a half, not bad. It's not bad because I think yes, yeah, and there were nine minus two. Um, and then this knight fired a couple of bits at him and did I think one wound. No, no nothing. No, nothing. Everything else at the Dreadnoughts and did quite a lot. The nine wounds. <laughs> yeah. It's so quite that's quite good actually. Um, now there's just one charge. Be your stone's going to get in there. See if she can kill off that Vexilla. So Stern got in fine. So she's got four attacks. Hitting on twos. All hit. Wounding on fours because she's plus one strength. I'm going to CP one of those. So I got loads. So three wounds. Minus three. Two damage. Ooh. So four, four passing runs. Goes through. So you've got one wound left. One wound left, yep. Yeah. Okay, that's that's it. Next is your turn to attack. Okay. How many attacks have you got? Four. Four, so you're minus one. Oh. So you're minus one. Oh no, miss because of that. Um, Strength. Uh, six with his spear. Okay, so threes because he stops four. Okay, minus three. Okay, she's got four plus in run. Make one fair one. D3. Three. Three. Okay, so she's got three wounds left. Yeah. Six wounds. She's pretty, pretty tough. Okay, and that is the end of turn. I'll get uh, three points for engaging all fronts. Uh, none for vital ground. And first strike's already done, so that's it. So end of Custodius turn three movement. Terminators move around a little bit. Telemons moved up to try and finish off Lady Humphrey. Warlord moved up over here. And everyone else stays stay still. Stay still so it's just on to shooting. Five shots with his little gun. So first up, yeah, go on. On threes now. Oh, it would be minus. Yeah, because it's in its middle bracket. Yeah, yep. so it's threes. Yeah, don't make a difference. Yeah, um, five yeah. wounds. So five. Two wounds, minus one. They both. Oh, no, I didn't see either. No, <laughs> So two damage. Two damage, two damage, two wounds. And then it's big gun. Threes. Fours with a reroll. One wound. Come on, mama. Come on, point reroll. Come no. on, damn it. Dead. How many wounds is it? Oh, three damage. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't think I, I'll check. I don't know if it's like it does blows up. It does blow up. Now I've got to look at the rules because I can't remember what the radius is. <laughs> so she's just blown up. Uh, suffers the 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 uh, range was eight, so it's gonna hit him. D six wounds is gonna suffer. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I can't roll that either. Okay, you can, yeah. So it suffers two wounds. So he's down to three. Oh, Damn it! Still down to three wounds. Can make it a lot easier to kill next turn. Yeah. Cool. Uh, oh, I've got feel of pain against it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, the rest of the shooting yielded nothing. I either made saves or didn't wound. Uh, I apologise if you can hear three blind mice in the background. That's <laughs> my daughter's baby monitor. Uh, so we'll get into combat. Uh, so I go first, I think. Uh, so if he hits on twos, all hit. Wounds on fours. And five. One, I think. Yeah. Three wounds, minus oh, two, two on. damage I think it was, but minus two. Come on. Come on now. Mama, mama. Uh, do I want to save my CP for something more fun than keeping him alive? He's not redoing anything. He's not doing anything there. So no, I'm so low on CP. Okay. So, yeah. so he's dead. She's not going to consolidate. She's just very happy she's killed something. Yeah. Uh, cool. And now it's on to knights. And the field's turn. <laughs> turn four. <laughs> so in knight's movement, this guy moved around to get a better field of fire. Um, he, uh, he moved back a little bit. The field's turn ad advanced up. 
and did he did three mortal wounds and yeah, to yeah. left, and he moved around to basically protect her from some shooting. Um, and this guy finds Melter at the um this one, but he now finds auto cannons at the gun. So four D three shots, two four seven eight. Hitting on threes. That was fucking <laughs> terrible. Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna command put one of those. Oh, <laughs> none of them have worked. One wound onto John. One's enough. Yeah. Was it? Four. Oh. No, he's fine. Damn it. Uh, and I'll come back when I decide what to shoot with next. So after the um, armature, this one's fine. I fired the thermal cannon already. Uh, that didn't do any wounds for the Terminator, I didn't run very well. Um, Iron Storm and the Vendor Gatling Cannon going into the Jan. I've done the Iron Storm, it didn't do anything, so now just the Vendor Gatling Cannon hitting on threes. That's fine. What's his toughness? Fine. Winning on threes. Oh, God's sake. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Not good. Four wounds, oh. minus two, two damage, though. Very good. There we go. That's what I can't say. Can't say he's definitely dead. Yay, yeah. it's the first time I've ever killed a John, and most importantly, it's five points you're not going to get. Yeah. He's dead. Cool. Right, let's think about what this guy's going to shoot at. I kind of need to kill him if I can. Um, but I also want to kill that, because that's the thing that can kill my knights. Well, he probably can as well, actually. Is he quite good in combat? Can he, can he, can he take down a knight? No, 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 no. He okay. can't kill him too. He's not that um, good. Let's do... Well, I'll fire a melt at him. He's, he's strength 8, minus 2 damage, he's only got 5 attacks, so... Okay, so I'll fire a melt at him anyway. Um, yep. I'll fire the sky shield thing at him and everything else, and the stubber. And I'll fire the two big guns. Uh, no, I'll fire the, the sky thing at him as well, I think. Yep. Um, yep. Yep. Because if I can kill him, actually, you can't... Get all four table quadrants because you only have three units left. Mm -hmm. So I kind of want to kill him. So actually, I'll just fire a melt at him and everything else for that. Okay. Actually. So melter. Warlord. Hitting on twos. Hits. Wounds. Minus four. This is on him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Past three of them. Okay, now everything else in the other guy. So. The sky shield thing has got six attacks. Hits on threes because you're not a flyer. Uh, with the fives, one wound, minus something. This four pins anyway. Okay. Rapid fire battle cannon, 2d6, six. six. Hitting on twos. Wounding on, I don't remember. Hitting on fours, thanks, Jack. Two wounds. Minus something. Minus, minus two. One goes through. Um, what else have you got left to fire? That? A Avenger Gatling Cannon and a Stubber. Avenger Gatling Cannon. I will CP that. Okay. Oh, no. No. So, DC damage for one. I will CP that. I oh, know I've already rolled CP, haven't I? I've already used a CP in a shooting phase, haven't I? What was it on? Not a clue. I haven't taken it off. Um, I think what, what would have been on? Did I use it on the auto cannons? Oh, yes, you did. Yeah, you did use it on the auto cannons. Okay, so one wound and then a Vendor Gatling cannon, three, six. So you did a wound to him? Yeah, okay, nine. So these, uh, nope. Okay, so the Vendor Gatling cannon, two to hit. Five to wound. One has to get through. One, two, three, three. Come on. Nice two. Uh, save! Uh, God damn it, Jack. Well, that was just what I needed it, bloody hell. <sighs> so, wow. end of that turn. I'll just get another two points for engage on all fronts. Because I'm in three table quarters. Okay, two points. Engage yeah. I only got five from the primaries. Yeah. You'll only get ten from primaries this turn, not fifteen. So that's good. Yeah, one, two. Yeah, because you killed the stupid having in there. Should have been yeah. around there. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay. 
that's it. I'm not going to do any charges. Oh, right. Well, I don't... The only one would be that guy. Mm -hmm. Into Warlord. I think that's, that's probably silly. Because then he can come in. Then yeah, he's coming in. So he's okay. coming in with no worries about Overwatch, basically. Yeah. Whereas, I mean, even him being Overwatch is going to be quite scary. Yeah. So, yeah, no, no, no charges. That's the end of um, Knight's Turn 4. Okay, so we're actually coming in at the end of Custody's uh, turn four. It's at the end of the movement phase as well, but we're not doing anything else. So they say where they were to be keeping that objective. He advanced over to make sure they got that objective. He moved around to basically make sure he's in this table quarter. He moved around to this objective. He couldn't shoot, not doing any charging. There's no point in fine colour bolt guns at a full health knight. So that's the end of the turn. That's it. You get three points for engaging on all fronts, and you got. 10 points for your primaries to start with because mm -hmm. you didn't get that one because he's now moved there but if he survives you'll get 15 next turn um cool so down to knight's turn five so end of night shooting again I maybe should have filmed more of this game but i like to go a bit short if i can so she obviously i don't know if i filmed it or not she finished off that guy with her smite ability it's not smite but smite he finished off the tournament which is great he fired everything at the Warlord and did... Uh, well, he had nine wounds stock, so he did four wounds. Yeah. And this one managed to kill off two Terminators. That's even with the uh, ignoring AP. Even with the yeah. minus two, yeah. So these two are both going to charge these two. <laughs> um, so we'll come back probably after the assault phase, to be honest. So just coming at end of combat phase, they both, so she just, he just smashed up to the pulp. Okay. And he did the same... Um, so that's all the Kasadi's dead, so I've tabled Jack, but we'll come back to you in a second, we've come up all our victory points. Okay, so that's the end of the battle, um, Custodes have been tabled, but they ended with 63 points, including the painted bonus, and I ended on 51. Including the painted bonus. Including the painted bonus, so um, it is actually a Custodes victory, in spite of the fact that uh, they've got no models no left. So as Jack said, I won the actual, it's a battle, and I've killed everyone, therefore I've won. Whereas Jack's won the on-paper rules someone wrote in an office. Which is the one that really counts. <laughs> Which one that really counts. <laughs> uh, I, don't yeah, really, I honestly yeah. don't care that I won or lost, to be honest with you. It was just really fun to move some big models around and roll a lot of dice. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, yeah, maybe. Uh, oh, thoughts on... Yeah, yeah. So, I love her. Yeah. I love yeah, her a lot. Yeah. Uh, she did really well, really. I mean, she killed... She killed two people, two really important people, only two, but two custodies is really good to kill. Yeah. And how many points is a Vexilla? Oh, like 100 and something probably. Yeah. Yeah. Probably she killed a Vexilla and that guy. And that guy, he's like 50. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, so she made her points back. Um, apart from um, that, I mean, the other knights all kind of did what you expect knights to do, really. They shot yeah. up stuff. I did, I realized I did make a mistake uh, when. Should have been getting more hits, I think. Yeah, I should have been plus one to hit when my when Lady um, Humphrey was in combat and I forgot the House Morton. I also didn't use all my CPs, I think I've got four, four CPs left. Yeah, I was um, CPs. I might buy Engine War. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Because I don't think knights are going to be getting a codex in night, in night anytime soon. Mm. Um, that, so know. they might, they've probably got some more strats in Engine War that I haven't got. Because really. In terms of strategy, apart from the command point real, the only other strats that are useful are things like Machine Spirit with Surgeon, which only he can use, and he didn't need it. Yeah. Sky with Protocols was really useful and they used it. Uh, the one that makes them explode easier is kind of useful. Yeah. Uh, the one for House Morton that ignores modifiers is useful, but they haven't got loads of useful strategies. And they still, and that's, so, yeah, that's the you know, because you had some really useful strategies now, like ignoring the minus two, basically transhuman physiology. Um, yeah, 3d6 charge problem. 3d6 yeah. charge. Um, so yeah, I might, I might have to get Engine War if I want to use Knights more. I mean, my next game will be with Sisters anyway, because um, oh, yeah. it just will. Um, but yeah, that was awesome. I really like... that For the first game of Knights, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I like... I don't care that I lost, because I like the changes. Yeah, I like them. I like the fact that it's more objective-based and less killing-based. I like the secondaries. They add something different. Um... Yeah, and I like the card um, games in it, but and they had like a random tactical element, but that felt a lot more like really. Not yeah, I mean you. I mean it was less so for me because mine was almost a bit simpler. But you were having to think really hard about where you placed your models in your movement phases. Mm. I mean, killing your bikes and your tank in turn one. Yeah. 
was a real bummer for you. <laughs> yeah, it basically meant that, um, but I don't think there's any way I could really realistically have maxed out Titan Slayers. And um, it's like if you can't do it, like in the last two turns, I, well, I can't really kill the knight, so I may as well just not even bother yeah. attacking it. I'll just try and send the objectives as much as possible. Why risk getting killed by the knight in return? Yeah. So once you no longer have enough power to kill a knight, you're very much just running goblin. Yep. Um, yeah. yeah, I'd be very tempted to do knights alongside sisters as well, like um, just a couple of knights, maybe like a thousand point of knights, a thousand point of sisters. Um, yeah, yeah. Could be could be really good because you could do a patrol detachment of sisters and still include quite a lot. Um, and it's it's the I mean the armor does are great. I love them, but it's the big guys that is particularly the crusaders that do your heavy lifting for you. Yeah. The only thing was actually you'd have to try and include three knights, otherwise you'd be using two auxiliary detachments. But anyway, mm -hmm. um, it was a way around it. But um, yeah, that was great. Um, don't know when the next game will be, obviously, but I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah. And um, please leave any comments. Please do comment if we made any rules mistakes. Um, the terrain didn't really come into it, to be honest with you. No, Most of my okay. units can't benefit from the terrain. So we played that these are ruins. Um, and we played that those were minus the movement, which we did do. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I mean, we we're playing knights versus Kasodi, so knights don't really benefit from terrain much anyway, and you didn't have much. Yeah. I killed a lot of your infantry pretty early on, apart from the Terminators, and they, they couldn't really benefit from terrain because you needed to be on the objectives. Around that objective, um, so I don't know whether we've got terrain rules right on things, but I don't feel like we made any massive rules mistakes in terms of the, the new rules for knights. Um, there's nothing that I thought, well, I'm not sure that, I, that comes to mind. I don't think we made any mistakes. No. But uh, I'm sure we'll have some point out to us. Yeah, and that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Anyway, check out the Facebook page and the Patreon page. Um, it would be great to have some new patrons. Um, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. And um, see you next time. Next time. Are you just going to go with the recording? You are, aren't you?